Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My man, it has been so long since I've done a video, a makeup video in a really long time, and even a hair video. And this is neither, no hair nor a makeup tutorial. Uh, but I am leaving to Italy. My husband and I and another couple we're leaving to Italy for a week or so. I wanted to show you guys how I planned for Italy because we are taking a carry-on each. That is it. Now we're gonna be there for seven days total and I tried to pack with everything in mind. Excursions in mind, so I'm gonna need sneakers, but then at nighttime, maybe wearing something nice for dinner or even just the days where we're gonna go out or maybe go do wine tasting. I don't wanna walk around in sneakers. So I tried to pack as best as possible for this trip only with a carry-on and I also wanted to show you guys how I packed everything together inside of my luggage uh, it was difficult indeed but I was able to make it happen so I figured that I would show it with you guys because I did also pack jackets and I did pack a sweater along with all of the beautiful spring clothes that I'm gonna buy. my tip is to pack simple clothes that you can mix and match with other things. So some people would like to pack things that, um, for example, this floral shirt is probably as like uh, dressy as I'm gonna get because I like to be able to just pack things that are super basic and I can mix and match. So I brought a lot of basic things. I did bring some standout pieces, but I felt like with these items, I was not gonna be able to wear often because if I take a photo or something, it's like, oh, you wore that already. Um, so I did pack a lot of basics and then I am going to layer with light jackets. The weather is going to be like how it is in New York right now, 70s um, more or less. And so I packed things that if I did need to wear a jacket and I took it off, I wouldn't be freezing, but also that if I wore a jacket, I would be comfortable. So if you guys want to see what I'm bringing to Italy, how exactly I packed for this trip, and also a variety of outfit ideas, I could have went on forever, but I had to stop the video at some point. But again, it's because I packed minimal and basic, so anything that I put on in this video can go with something else. I'm sure you're going to see a pair of jeans and say, man, I wish I would have seen her put it on with that shirt and it's because it's just gonna be so easy for me to mix and match every single piece that I brought. So I hope that you guys enjoy, and I will see you in, who knows, maybe a week, 10 days. This is the only video that I was able to film before my trip. My trip is actually tomorrow. So uh, I ordered some stuff from boohoo.com, and those things came in today. So I was able to just show you that in the video, pack up, and then I leave for Italy tomorrow, so I hope that you guys enjoy the rest of your week. I hope that you enjoy the video. If you do, please give a thumbs up. Make sure that you subscribe, that you like the video, and I will see you soon. In my carry-on, I'm able to bring three bottoms, nine tops, two jackets, one sweater, two sandals, one pair of high heels, the sneakers I'm going to be wearing with me on the plane. This comes out to 10 outfits that I show you in the video, but it can definitely be stretched out to maybe 13 to 14. Hope that you guys enjoy. Outfit one is for a day where we're going to do a lot of walking. I have my high-waisted ripped jeans, Converse's are the sneakers that I brought, a striped shirt, and my pink jacket. This is one of the two jackets. This is easy. If it gets hot, I can take it off or I can keep it on all day. Now here I'm gonna show you guys a different pair of jeans with the same jacket and a plain undershirt. This allows me to wear a second outfit with the same jacket, again, spicing it up. Here I've done the same thing, I've just switched the undershirt, so same sneakers, same jeans, but I've been able to now create three outfits using the same jacket and the same sneakers. Now this next outfit is also for either an excursion or just to walk around outside. So I have a short crop top with the same jeans and my sneakers. And then if it winds up getting cold, I can grab the pink jacket. Now the next outfit, which is the fifth outfit, I have my ripped jeans on. I brought a pair of black flat sandals. This is a black bodysuit and then my second jacket. Now that jacket I can wear with anything. Here is the floral top that you've seen in the intro. I could always throw on that beige jacket over if I wind up getting cold. Here, this next outfit, which this is my seventh outfit. I keep doing that with my leg because I thought you guys couldn't see the sandals, but obviously you can. So this shirt is so cute for outdoors, very 
not like over the top but just perfect for a day out now again if it winds up getting chilly my dog how cute is he then I can always throw on the beige jacket as well so this gives it a little bit more of a dressier vibe and this can go from daytime to nighttime now I always want to make sure that I pack a sweater I'm not sure how cold it'll get this sweater is perfect it's loose so I can throw it even over whatever shirt I previously had on and if it's really cold that night I'll put on my sneakers and ditch the sandals now these two outfits are for nighttime. I brought a pair of black liquid leggings and a pair of shoes. These shoes are minimum in height so I can definitely walk in them and feel comfortable with this black flowy top. And this top can go with any of the jeans that I also had on. Now this is a second pairing, a floral top. Again, something a little bit more that stands out with the black flats this time and the jacket over and I, and I could throw on the white off the shoulder or cut shoulder shirt on as well if I really wanted to add another outfit. Now here is how I pack my clothes. My three pairs of jeans I rolled. Then afterwards I separated each shirt. Some people will roll their shirts but I found that laying my shirts flat actually gave me the most space in my suitcase. So here I'm folding all of the nine shirts, making sure that I have them as flat as possible. And I also wind up just throwing in other things after the video because I realized that I had space, just long sleeve body suits, just in case there were some days that were colder than I expected. Then I'm gonna take all the shirts and I'm going to lay them right next to the jeans and fold in any sides. Now, these outfits do not include the clothes that I'm going to wear on the plane as well, so that's a whole nother extra outfit. Now, what I did was I went to my local 99 cent store and bought shower caps, and now I'm packing my two flat sandals into the shower cap to make sure that they stay in place and they don't move around. After I finish packing those, I am going to lay them in between the jeans and the suitcase, and that just fits perfectly. Then I take another shower cap and I am putting in the shoes that have a little bit of a heel and placing that in as well. Now that's the first beige jacket. There goes the pink jacket. And on top of that, I wind up putting the sweater. Again, I had so much space. I packed a curling iron. Those were all my liquids. The only thing that's missing is my makeup. I have to pack that in, but there's definitely space for that as well. And again, as I mentioned, I also have clothes that I'm wearing on the airplane, which will also add as outfits. And I threw in a few more extra shirts as well. And in the flap of my suitcase, I have all of my pajamas, my undergarments, my socks just to make sure that I have everything all together. And that is how I pack for a carry-on. I'm showing you guys I still have space if necessary. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. And what I like to do is just throw some things on top of the suitcase that I wanna take with me in my purse. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.